Today we talk about the chapter two, the ecosystem, the lecture one, definition of ecosystem. Okay. Uh, the definition of ecosystem, the ecosystem here basically they show the relationship. So the relationship here can be the organisms. Okay, relate to another organisms. Okay, like this. Or even the organism object to the non-living things, okay, to the air, to the water, to the soils, or even the other things, okay. And we also mentioned how energy is flow. The energy will flow from organism. Uh, from the glass, and go to the. Human, and after that, they get dead by the bacteria. To the plant, we mentioned how the energy that flow from the plant to the human and go to the bacteria, and they also mentioned how the nutrient. Yeah. Transfer from the plant to the human and to the bacteria and go back to the plant again. So this one we call nutrient cycling. But for the energy we call energy flow. Okay. Uh, first of all, I need to talk about the classification or separation of the. Uh, ecosystem basically ecosystem here break into two parts biotic factors the part of living thing and the part of non-living things abiotic factor for example the organism here can be classified by the ecological roles okay into the producers the one that can produce the food by themselves and the organisms the organism that cannot produce the food by themselves and they need to eat the other organisms we call consumer And this organism here classified into many types, including the primary consumer. This one here eat the plant, eat the producers. And the secondary consumer means the consumer that eat the primary consumer, a uh, primary consumer. And the tertiary consumer means the last step they eat the con. Secondary consumer, we call tertiary, and the last one decomposer. This one digests the dead body of other organism. Okay, and the part of the abiotic factor here we mentioned about the mineral as the nutrient for the plant, and. animals and the water here is quite important as the uh, the solvents for the mineral to absorb into the plant or even it is the solvents of the nutrient inside the bodies of the animals the air here as a source of carbon dioxide and oxygen the carbon dioxide important for the photosynthesis that is plant pro uh, important for the production of the plant products and oxygen for respiration. The light here is also important for the photosynthesis. They give the warmth to animals. 
and they give the the energy for the photosynthesis of the plant and the for the part of biotic uh, factors here we mentioned by the part of the living things and we classify them by the ecological the ecological roles of both part Tang Midwet Vitya. Okay, for for example, it is the autotrope. Auto means the the word auto means self. And trope means to eat. They eat by itself. And they also obtain the energy from the photosynthesis process for the for the group of the green organisms. Okay, and they need to use the light energy, the carbon dioxide and the water to produce the sugar. And they also produce oxygen gas as a byproduct. Okay, and the animal use this oxygen as the important gas for the respiration. And the green organism we mentioned, it is a gas, uh, it is a, a plant, algae, and a cyanobacteria. It is a kind of the blue-green bacteria. This one here, it can do the photosynthesis, and some protozoas can uh, do the photosynthesis too. Okay, for example, Euglena, like this. The algae here also break into many groups, the red one, red algae, red algae, brown algae, and green algae, like this. And the photosynthesis process here, uh, the equation here, they use it, uh, carbon dioxide as a source of carbon. In sugar molecules. Okay, and oxygen here also in the sugar molecules. And hydrogen here in the sugar molecules. But the oxygen here will be released out as oxygen gas. The first product here will be the glucose for the photosynthesis. And they release oxygen and another portion of water. Okay, and we also have the chemosynthesis. This one in occur in the hydrothermal wind down to the sea floor. This is sea floor, and they will have the wind like this, and they release the carbon dioxide, okay, and hydrogen sulfide as a product. And this condition no light related, so they use the heat, release release it from the magma under the ground here, from the magma down here. This is magma layer. Okay, the product here you can get the crystals of the sulfur. Later I will uh I will add the video in here so you can get click and take a look into it. Okay, and heterotroph is a group of organisms that cannot produce the food by themselves, so they need to eat the other organism. So we classify the group of the organism by the food they eat. If they eat a plant, we call it the herbivore. The word herb mean plant and the word war mean to eat. And the carnivore here they eat animals using canine. Okay, of an kill. Okay, they eat animals. And omni mean both. They eat both plant and animals. Okay, and you did the war. This one here they they they, they eat the tetris. Okay, mean a dead body or the soils of the plant and organism. This one, for example, washer. Okay, and uh, water monitor. Or here. Like this. Okay, and the washer here, they eat the dead bodies of the organism. Drang. This one, the examples of the early war, for example, elephant, cow, like this, 
carnivore here can be wolf okay the omnivore here can be human bear like this the bear the decomposers means the organism here that obtain a nutrient by secreting the enzyme get to a dead body for example this group it is the bacteria mushroom mold and cheese for example you have the bread like this and after you leave the bread in the room temperature the mold here will grow up in here you this this a lot as a group here when you take a look into this mold you will see the thin structure here of the mold like this the thin structure here named mycelium and they secrete the enzyme and after that when the, when the enzyme digests the starch in the bread here then you can get a glucose and after that the glucose here will reabsorb back into the mycelium okay this process so calls the external digestion oh this one is extra not external it is extracellular sorry digestion supposed to be like this so it leads to the cycling of the nutrient in the in uh, cycling of a nutrient okay and after that, some some product here will release for example they can release the other thing for example the phosphate like this so the phosphate here later the plant can be absorbed by the plant so the plant can go up so it is a part of nutrient cycling okay and the organism here uh, in in the in in the nature here they also have the adaptation so the adaptation means the modification it uh by their structures okay by shape or even colors okay and the physiology is mean how they work how the body work like this or behavior how they act okay and they adapt so they adjust all these things and after they get in increase the rate of the survivals so we can classify them into, into three categories it is a structural adaptation physiological adaptation or behavioral adaptation okay the structural adaptation uh show the change in the shape and the colors okay so we have three subcategories it is the mimicries the camouflage and the cryptic correlation or this one we change into a posimasticism okay the mimicry here means the situation that the the harmless of oh, we will talk in detail later this one here uh mimicry here show the harmless organism will look look like the harmful organisms the first one here we have two organisms that look the same it is the butterfly it is a viceroy the viceroy here is a harmless and portable so the blue jay is the name of the bird little like we eat it but but the color here and the pattern of the body look the same so the mona shall be harmful when the animal did it they will get vomiting okay so the when when the blue jay take a look into the pattern of this butterfly they will avoid to eat these two organisms so the viceroy that is a harmless will get survive okay because even they don't have the toxin or, or even they don't they, they are harmless but they look the same to the monad that is very harmful so the blue jay here avoid to eat it so the viceroy here will get survive so this one show the adaptation of shape and the colors of the butterfly to be more more survive okay and the camouflage camouflage means animal that look like the environment or the surrounding to avoid from the predators okay for example the stick insect look like a tree tongues so when the bird fly and pass through the stick insect they cannot notice the stick insect so the stick insect will get survive so you will see the video in here you take, can take a look okay 
and uh, aposematisms. This one here means the uh, dangerous animals that show the toxin. Okay, they show a very uh, colorful. Okay, in the environment, for example, this poison dart frog, it, it is the frog, a very small frog that contain a toxin. The toxin is neurotoxin. They affect to the brain and the nerve like this. So they show the colors of orange and the blue, vivid blue, to show that they have the toxin. So, so the animal that can see it will be, uh, can can see them. They avoid avoid the poison dart frog. Okay. And I will show you the video. Okay, the structural adapt structural adaptation as the the other example. For example, the webbed webbed feet of the of the duck he used for swimming, swimming. And the bird have the hollow bone to reduce that uh their weight and they get fly. Okay, and the giraffe use use a long neck, yeah, to eat the young leaf on the top of a tree. Like this, or even the musk keeper of platine. This one here, they have big pectoral fin, creep oak. Okay, to glide on the mud. Okay, to so slide on the mud, like that. So this is the examples of the structural adaptation, and the physiological adaptation in how they change the body mechanisms. Okay, to survive. For example, polar bear here store the fat under the skin. So they can survive in the cold climate to keep the body warm as a heat in uh, heat insulation. And the cats to eat their bodies okay, when they fall from a tree. Okay, fall from a tree. And here to eat the body to avoid the damage on the internal organs. And the camel store here is the hump. Okay, the humps to produce they store the fat and this fat here when they get digest it will release the water into the bloodstream so the camel here can live longer in the dry desert okay and the mammals they have a sweat the sweat gland sorry here to reduce the body temperatures here's the body temperatures and behavioral adaptation means they change their the actions, the action. Okay, when the environment how, uh, when when the environment get changed, the animal live in the temperate zone here get hibernate during the cold winter. For example, the uh, frog, the snake like this, and the bird here get migrate to the warm area during the winter time to get more food. Okay, and a lungfish here live in the mud. Okay, under the mud here, they can form the sac like this, and the fish live inside this one, this small sac. Okay, and use the lung to keep breathing. And when the rain fall here, uh, they can come back again. Okay, into the pond again and living again. Thank you.